morning everyone nice freezing cold night last night minus three got down to apparently I was in my bivvy James was in his bed chair carp fishing chair again we're doing a bit of fishing today we caught a little roach about yay big the pike that was chasing was about this big so uh, yeah I'm gonna get a lure on little spinner spinner bait oh he's caught a tree fish tree fish brilliant right let's get on see if we can get a pike then we'll head back to camp and show you what the setup was last night. I've opted for a leaf add on. <laughs> to catch this little jack pike, I've opted to go for a roach imitation. This is good for bass in the saltwater estuaries as well. So let's give this a whack. See if I don't get snagged up all the time. Stuck moving, isn't it? I didn't really want it that far. Jig it along a little bit and then let it float back up. Yes, you got one. Yeah, yeah nice. Five, nice, 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 nice. There you go. One little pod for you. He's wrapped yes. <laughs> this little fella's wrapped himself up in the net. So, a couple of treble hooks to deal with. Right, so the end result is this little jack pike. Got tangled up a bit in the treble hooks, but that's awesome. Look at him. I don't know if you can see his teeth, but. Oh my god, you don't want your fingers anywhere near these. Right, quickly getting back and try and get another one. And there he goes, slimy as anything. He's just sitting there, James. Look, look, he's just sitting there and you can barely see him. You can't really see him at all. Right, where's the tail? <laughs> Ugh, slimy. Go on, James. James is now having to go to the lure. He switched over to a little jelly, jellyfish fish thing with a blue head. Very natural. Today we're going to be taking a look at my winterized bivy system for winter 2019. This is a special forces sleep system. The main features I like, this is just a quick demo because there's loads of noise in the background. Zip that you don't have to find the zip in the night, it just pulls open for quick exit. And the sleeping bag is special forces, two sleeping bag, rated right down to minus 7 degrees Celsius. That should do the job. The zip, as I say. Easy exits. There's quite a few features on this bag that I do love. One of the facts being that hardly ever tangles up, as is some zip baffles either side, just in front of the main big warming baffles, stop drafts, and that type of thing. I also have a ground sheet and sleeper mat with this system. It's obviously a winter system, so it's not going to be too lightweight. It's going to be a bit bulky. It folds down to about this big, my full setup. So it's quite a nice little system, fully waterproof bivy bag and it is breathable so you can have a good night's sleep without condensation building up from your breath or external heat sources. I was going to get some scenic shots today of the sunrise and that sort of thing but instead I opted to take some pictures. So me and James have just finished off fishing, got a nice little pike as you saw earlier, a few more roach and rudd and that sort of thing. It got down to about minus two, minus three degrees Celsius last night and this morning. Pretty damn cold. I know James, he had trouble sleeping last night. He kept waking up cold. He only brought a two season sleeping bag with him. So uh, next time I might lend him one of my snug pack ones to get a good night's sleep during the winter time. I didn't actually sleep outside in this right here. I just got it out of the tent. The tent's absolute pigsty at the moment, absolute mess. So I brought it out here just to give you a quick overlook of this and uh, see what I'm using for the night. Oh, it's lovely and warm. SJ9 jacket, snug nut hat, couldn't be warmer. Lovely job. But anyway, if you want to see the pictures from this morning, go check out my Instagram account, which is naturally Hippie Swift. I'm going to get on with my day, start to pack up my things. We'll take a look around and catch some more fish. Peace.
It's been an absolutely cracking time here with James last night and this morning. It's so nostalgic being back here. I used to come fishing here on what's known as Pike Corner where we've been fishing over there. And once me and my father, when I was about 12, 13 I believe, we caught a 23 pound pike there. And uh, yeah, that was absolutely huge. <laughs> absolutely massive, sir. Unfortunately, I'm a true nugget as always. And I left the microphone turned off on the camera. So uh, yeah, unfortunately we uh, don't have as much footage as we would. All of the pictures I took this morning you find on my Instagram page, Hit Me Swift. I've been really, really warm today and last night. I would have really liked last night to have slept behind me, but the mist in the air was just too dense for me. I would have got blisters around my lips and all sorts. I've got this little snood thing, merino wool buff, but you know, it was pretty cold in the mist. If that gets wet, then you're getting cold no matter what. But maybe next time when there's not a mist in the air, hey. Anyhow, if you like this video, subscribe for more bikepacking and bushcraft adventures. Sorry it was a short one today, guys. I've been having a really, really good time. It's just been so fun and I've been enjoying myself. You can have me walking away in the distance from my bed. <laughs> When it comes down to it, making YouTube videos is quite easy. When you have a plot in your head and you know the storyline of how the video is going to work out and you know, you get a good video going then. But things like today, I've been really having a good time. Half the footage has gone because I had a microphone turned on. Nugget, absolute nugget I am. So in a nutshell, recording this type of vlog on the fly camps is a bit harder because I just want to get out. It's a bit more exciting, you know, rather than just my usual bike packing stuff. Lots of my long term subscribers have actually asked for more bike packing adventures rather than just camping all the time. It's really just what I can do and when I can do it. I'm working in the week and I have kids at the weekend so uh, it's very hard to get out and about. Sometimes I go camping after and before work and uh, yeah it's just hard to get out and about at the moment. It is December now, it's December the 4th I believe. Something like that, I'm not too sure. I rarely look at my phone anymore. And hopefully, fingers crossed, there'll be snowfall this year. So I'll get my tent covered in snow. I just want that picture, honestly. I just want that picture. It'll be so cool. So let's get packed up. Our stuff packed up in my bags. It's a lightweight booby setup, as you saw, but all of the camera gear and everything else food water etc well there is some water i forgot some water so i couldn't even have a coffee sorry kelvin mcintyre i can't have a coffee today sorry dude i know you like watching me have a brew in the morning <laughs> a lot of subscribers do actually have different things i like seeing some of you like campfires some of you like stoves like gas stoves that sort of thing you know for making your brews up and that and i do get a lot of feedback for this in my comment section I'm asking about my uh, stoves, so uh, go check out my stoves video up there. If you want to see more bike packing and bushcraft adventures, click somewhere down that side of the screen. Till next time, stay safe and I hope you find peace on a bike in the woods in the field. <laughs>